And what's up guys? Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um today I will be teaching you how to wall climb and wall run. Okay, so let's get in the forest um and I will show you how to do it. Okay, so you wanna find this this wall you wanna find it. Uh, once you find this wall, um it's right and you can jump down you want to go to here um so this is basically i'll just show you in fast motion what wall climbing is and then this is wall running just in case you didn't know i just add that last part in but yeah basically what wall running is doing this wall climbing is to go up on the wall so i'll be showing you how to do those but for wall climbing if you notice when you jump on the wall you stick right there, and then you drop down. Same over here, you stick, and then you drop down. So while you stick, you want to go like this. While you stick, you want to go to the other side. But you don't want to go so slow. Let's see if I go slow. It's like pushing you down. You want to get up, and you, you want to go diagonally. You want to go, so if this was a wall, you want to go from this spot over. So you want to go from here over to here so you want to go over this crease and you want to go up and over like diagonally and then you want to go diagonal diagonal so kind of like a zigzag just up the wall so when it sticks you want to go up 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 and as you see this dents in as it dents in you want to push like harder to go to this side so then you don't just like try to stay on this crease you actually want to get over to here and then go up so you're gonna have to do a big push to get up you know but over here you don't have to do as hard pushes because you just want to stay on these sides of the crease but then as you get up to here that's whenever you're gonna have to start doing it larger so then you can um stay on the wall and so remember and you stick and go up and diagonal like this almost like you're like this motion so this is a crease this side this side this side this side and you don't want to go too slow you don't want to go too fast or else that will happen and also if you're going like this and it's like you're going off the wall that happens a lot it's because you're pushing this way you don't want to push this way and push more to here so you don't want to push out in this way to go to here you want to make sure you're going up too and you're also not like pushing too hard because if you do this you're on like way too hard and i also don't want to push this way because if i do that it will look something like that and that's not what we want you just gotta keep that at the side and then as it gets as it, this indent gets wider that's then every like you push harder and you go more side to side and so that's how to wall climb um, for here, if you're wondering. To recap on wall climbing, remember that you stick to the wall. Uh, whenever you're wall climbing, push up and diagonal to the other wall, making sure that you don't push away from the wall. Um, and don't go too slow or too fast. One more tip to add is that, in my opinion, I think it helps if you keep your hands around shoulder width apart when you're wall climbing because it gives you more control and it helps you catch yourself when you're go bouncing from one side to the other on the wall. Uh, but feel free to not use this if you do not prefer it. So now I will teach you how to wall run over here. So now that if you've mastered your wall climbing skills or if you've practiced it and you're able to get up, remember, doing it from here, you want to get up to about somewhere here because you're going to need to get up to about here. So you want to get up to about this level to go over to here. So this is what wall running is to get onto the stump. So I will be showing you how to. So in case you didn't know how, you probably did, you know uh, how to if you watched our first video on Girl Tag, I think. Move, uh, how to move, climb, and jump. You know how to do this, right? And it's the same thing, but you imagine you doing this with one hand, right? Now imagine that, put your hand this way. And imagine this as a wall. 
and you just want to have yourself up. So, same thing. How am I going like this? Forward. Same thing as here. But as you do this, you're going to want to go up like this. So, see how I go up? Whenever you come over here, so you walk on up. You want to come about here. And then, so, see how I stick to the wall? You know, remember that from wall climbing? You kind of want to push up. So whatever I mean by that, you don't want to go straight up because you don't want to just go up like that. Because that's not going to do anything. You want to go forward, but also push up. So it's kind of like going around the wall. This is you. Cause you're looking this way but it could go like to there to there so it's kind of like you're going you kind of like leap a little bit you don't just go straight you get a little jump into it remember we wall climb up slide out then we want to stick our hand and yeah we want you want to go on this part where you see this dent is right here it's really hard to go on there unless you go onto here so like remember you go over you know, keep yourself up by also pushing your hand down on the wall, but also forward at the same time. What I mean by that is, see my left hand, it goes up too, but it also is pushing myself forward. So I go up, don't want to push straight up, but also want to push this way, forward. Wherever you're going, you want to push in that way. We also want to kind of like push up too. You push up too, but also go forward at the same time. Like when you're running on the ground, it's like also pushing up. But then you're on the wall, so you have to push up, wall run, still going this way, I'm just pushing up, like this, still going this way, just pushing up. So, that is how to wall run. So, hopefully you, you practice that eventually, and hopefully you'll get really good. I hope this video did help, because these are some really good tips on how to get better at wall climbing and wall running. Um, so just keep practicing it. It's a little hard at first, I'll tell you that. But, um, uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Remember to please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you've watched this far, you gotta like the video. I'm just gonna say that. And you also, if you've watched to this part right now, you also gotta subscribe. So you gotta like and subscribe if you've watched this far. And if you haven't watched this far, you still gotta like and subscribe if you clicked on the video. So, yeah. That's pretty much the deal. Taught you how to walk on the horn. Now you gotta like and subscribe. And if you want for an extra, you can hit the notification bell. But, um, see ya next time. And bye. To recap on wall running, it's basically almost like running on the ground. And whenever you're running on the ground, your palm is facing down, pushing along, on along the grass, right? Well, that's exactly how you want to be when you're wall running. Your palm is facing down. That helps you give um, the most control on the wall. Uh, also, whenever you're wall running, at, when you're starting out, to get the most distance and height at the same time, you want to push yourself up um, and forward. at this, Up and forward. Uh, also, whenever you're wall running, push. make sure you push along the angle of the wall. That helps you stay on the wall easier.